from the given um, you know semantics of the database we generally get the functional dependencies and many times what happens is uh, from these functional dependencies by applying the rules uh, like uh, the properties which we have seen already those properties can even give us more uh, functional dependencies so i'll just take it, take an example and i show you uh, what i mean okay let us say we have two attributes which means there is a table which is just having two attributes a and b right with just these two attributes how many functional dependencies are possible uh, see now a functional dependency will have left side and right side isn't it x determines y and left side can be any number of attributes and right side can be any number of attributes right including zero attributes also which means you can even say uh, phi determines phi it is also according according to the uh, you know definition of functional dependency it is also valid so what is definition of functional dependency left side has to be a subset of attributes and right side has to be a subset of attributes and it is valid right therefore how many possibilities are there for the left side and how many possibilities are there for the right side when you have just two attributes let us say our table is having only two attributes i'm just interested in finding total number of uh, you know functional dependencies possible so for x you know we have uh, four possibilities which means there are four ways i can find out the subsets of ab so one possibility is you know i don't take anything phi and other one is i take a other one is i take b and other one is i take ab right right side also there are four possibilities phi a b ab right therefore left side there are four possibilities and right side there are four possibilities so total number of functional dependencies possible are actually 16 4 into 4 is 16 isn't it if you want to see what they are you can even think you know look at it this way see this uh, phi determines phi i'm just taking about left side is phi and i'll take all the combinations and then phi determines a right and then phi determines b phi determines a b right and what about the right side uh, sorry left side is a a determines phi right and a determines a and a determines b and a determines a b these are all the possible functional dependencies that could exist in this database with left side as a isn't it what about uh, next one b right so b i'm talking about all these combinations b determines phi b determines a b determines b b determines a b right and what about a b a b determines phi a b determines a a b determines b and a b determines a b right so these are all the possibilities right so these many functional dependencies are possible fine now uh, from the meaning of the database we generally can derive we generally get some of the uh, functional dependencies and then in order to get the additional functional dependencies we might have to check what are all the functional dependencies that hold on the table uh, i mean uh, that can be derived from the existing functional dependencies let us say I, i'm just taking an example okay let us say on this table if i have functional dependencies defined like this a determines b and b determines a these two are the functional de dependencies that i got from the uh, meaning of the database from the semantics of the database i got these two you know initial functional dependencies now i want to see what are the additional functional dependencies that could be added to this set or what are the additional uh, functional dependencies that i could derive from this one right then what i do is i take each one of them and i'll see whether it is derivable from this one or not right so how can i do it again using closure set of attributes okay so closure set of attributes is not just useful in finding the candidate keys one other application is finding out the additional functional dependencies right so just watch it see is is this one possible from this phi derives phi is possible you know with anything therefore this one is definitely possible but phi derives a nothing derives a it is not possible it is not possible it is not possible right and what about a derives phi it is possible it is trivial in, you know because left side, right hand side is a subset of left hand side trivial it is trivial a derives b yes it is possible a derives a b yeah i don't know i have to find it out right now what i do is i find a plus from this so what does what does it give 
a and then a because of a i get b therefore a can a has a capacity to derive to determine a b right therefore a determines a b is true right and what about b determines this trivial true and b determines a yes it is already there true b determines b trivial what about b determines a b then again i do closure b plus what do i get b and because of b determines a i get b a right therefore b has the capacity to determine a b and so it is true and what about this trivial what about this trivial 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 right so you know total number of functional dependence is possible of 16 right out of which 13 are implied by this got it i hope that you followed it right so only these uh, these three are not able to we are not able to get them from this so all these 13 are possible so it is not just that you know whatever we get from the semantics or the only functional dependencies we can get additional functional dependencies too and all of them are valid according to this uh, meaning are you following it what i mean to say is total number of possible fds are many but out of which you know from the meaning i have i have got some and then i can get additional from using this right but then i am not going to apply the properties i use the closure set i'll do one more example let us say this is not present b determines a is not present a determines b is the only functional dependency right then what are the valid or what are the additional functional dependencies that you can derive that is what my question let's see that how can i do it I'll take each one of them and again I'll test according to the functional dependencies will it hold or not. This one holds and this three doesn't hold. This is trivial, this is trivial and A determines B holds and A determines AB holds because if I find out A plus then I'm going to get AB right and B determines uh, phi true and B determines A it is not true which means even though this particular FD is possible from the on the table it is not valid according to the functional dependencies which means this cannot be any additional FD that can be derived from the existing FDs right so it should not be included what about next one B determines B yes trivial what about this one B determines AB it is not possible because B if I apply B plus I just end up getting B right nothing else I will not get A anytime now what about this one A B determines phi possible trivial 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 and trivial right therefore how many did we get out of this 16 I have to remove I have to remove 11 I have to remove 5 therefore I am going to get 11 so 11 functional dependencies are valid according to this got it so out of which if you have one well, how many additionally we get we got additionally we got 10 this is already given and we found out that total level 11 additional are there out of which uh, one is already existing therefore 10 additional we can derive from this this one getting this so this is uh, this is what is called additional uh, fd set so generally given fd will be something uh, set of fds from this we can derive additional set right and now we can use both of them you know in the process in the process of uh, uh, functional dependency that uh, normalization okay so you know most of the questions they might not be asking us to find out the entire set of additional dependencies they'll just ask us they'll just give us some uh, functional dependencies and they'll ask us is the is the is the new functional dependency they'll give one more functional dependency just one is this one can this one be derived from this existing set that is what they ask which means they will say that this is what is the set of functional dependencies and then they will give you a new functional dependency x derives y x determines y and they will ask us whether this new functional dependency can be derived from the existing functional dependencies it is straightforward what we should do is find out x plus the closure of x all the attributes of left hand side from the existing functional dependencies and see that x plus contains y if x plus contains completely y then we can say that it is valid according to these functional dependencies if it doesn't contain y then it is not valid right okay anyway we shall see questions lots of them don't worry uh, before going ahead with that uh, let's find out how let's see how to find out the additional functional dependencies with examples okay fine Hi, if you are planning to do masters, then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in India. I will give you all the reasons. So, first reason is, out of 1 lakh students who take GATE every year, there are only 
500 seats in old IITs. So all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And IITs, universities better than IITs, they have very good acceptance rate like 30%, 40%. But all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your master's in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India. And these are all the services that we provide. University shortlisting. So depending on your profile, we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply. And statement of purpose building. And then LOR guidance. And GRE and English test assistance. And education loan assistance. So you don't have to have any collateral. Which, which means without any security, now you can get education loan. Getting education loan is very simple these days and whatever the amount fee the amount of uh, fee that you have you have a range of uh, universities you can apply for 10 lakh universities 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities but whatever it is you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you getting it after you get a job and then we do visa assistance mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni so now you might ask why we should join game of visas so the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide, we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494 555 454. Okay, thank you.